Welcome back. I want to thank everybody for coming back and checking out. Uh, we are on to turn five and we are at the beginning of the turn. So now it is time for us to roll to see if the Germans get their reinforcements or not. So <clears throat> we need to roll one dice and it has to be less than the turn number. And we got an eight. So they are not coming on this turn. So this should be relatively a short turn, so I'll probably be able to um, take care of that. Real quick, uh, it is currently July the 13th, 2022. We currently have a um, offer or a contest going on uh, for, a, uh, for, the, for an ATS game, complete game. So I'll put the instructions um, in the notes uh, on this and so that way you can do it. Uh, you have until July 31st. So if you if this interests you um, Many people are watching so if ATS kind of interests you this is a good way for us for them to get into the game and things like that So let's go ahead and get started. We need to roll to see who goes first two zeros Try again uh, Three and a five so the Americans get to go first um <clears throat> Well, that's pretty. That's a pretty easy thing uh, for them to do. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to take Sergeant Quinn here and all his units, the LMG and the half squad. So we have five, ten, seventeen. 25. So this will be rolling on the 24 table. Let me take that. Yep. Rolling on the 24 table, we will be a plus one because um, it will be a plus one because of the leader or the um, hedro right here. Uh, and but a Minus one because of the NCO, <clears throat> which means that it's a straight shot on the 24. And then we will get to see how things go. Okay, straight shot on the 24. And we got clear dice, straight shot on the 24 is a 7. On the 24 is a C2. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and flip this god squad here. Um, since that was a 24, I have not been putting my uh, collateral fire on here. And so uh, 12, we take half the number 12, and then there's no 12. So um, a 10 will go in there because I want to go through that right. So, okay, <clears throat> start with the leader first. Uh, six minus two plus one. So five or less and gets an eight. Okay, so he's broken. And so this is be a three. Plus one, four or less, seven. So he is also broken. And then finally, this squad here is a five or less. And he gets a one. So he will be okay there. So he is not broken, but we do have a 10 residual in there. And that basically takes care of a lot of the uh, craziness um, that we've got going on here. Okay. So he has fired. It is now the Germans activation. Let me, I'm going to change this. Doesn't show up. Go back to my nice one because I think it shows, yeah, it shows up much better that way. Okay, so now it's the 
uh, German's turn. So basically, in this case, he's going to fire back. Um, but he's only going to have a squad and this LMG, um, which is a 5. So we, he's going to be firing on the 10. So 10. He's firing on the 10 um, plus 1. So 10 plus 1. Here we go. It is going to be a 6 plus 1 is a 7. A 7 on the 10 is a C1. And so what we're going to do, I'm just going to... We're going to take that C1 on this guy right here. Need to get a, another casualty marker here. <clears throat> okay, leader first. So that's a seven minus one, which is a six, seven, eight. So and we got a seven, so the leader's fine. Um, these two basically just don't roll a ten, two, uh, five, good. Okay, now let's take a look at we gotta take a look at this one. So it's a minus one, so that's a six. So then it's a five, six, and seven, and an eight. So just don't roll a nine or a ten. Roll a seven. So that is, he is okay. So now we can put this back on. These are good. He'll be my fired, and so will so will this guy be marked fired. Um, now, since it's not actually, he's got a three. So let's go ahead. He's gonna fire again. He's gonna fire rate, which will be on the four. Same target. Four plus one is a nine. No, oh, he's got rate again. Four plus one. <clears throat> four plus one is a five. A five on a four is a C1. So that was actually quite effective. So what we're going to do, we're going to pull these out again. That squad, that half squad is going to be gone. So this half squad is no longer. <clears throat> the bazooka will just stay there. So six. So basically... Three rolls, just not a 10. Yeah. So we're good. All of them were good. And so that's, that's fine. So he has used up his, his fire. So German activation is done. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to take that LMG that's on here. That's here. He is going to go ahead and fire his rate. And that's also a four. Plus one, minus one. So straight on the four. We got a five on the four, which is a C1. Also... So he has fired his rate as well. Uh, C1. Not worried about this one anymore. So this one will take the casualty. Leader first. Two is fine. It's still broken though. Uh, <clears throat> and now everybody's broken. What? Yeah, now everybody's broken. Well, that just figures. Uh, everybody's broken. Well, they're done, anyways. Oh, 
Okay, so they're broken, fired, <laughs> and residual. Okay, well, <clears throat> honestly, in this case, it's back to the Americans. They're going to pass because they can't see them and they want to stay there because they don't know about reinforcements. This guy's going to pass because he's not going to see them. So in this case, everybody passes multiple times, and that's the end of the turn. Now, so we go into the end of the turn stage, um, or close assault. These guys can't close assault. These guys, um, they can't even get involved with this right now. That's kind of like the backup anyways. Um, and the Americans are happy where they're at. No problems at all. So what we're going to end up doing now is we are going to try to unbreak these. <clears throat> so they're all broken. So sergeant get oh wrong one three. I'll I'll take it. So the sergeant is unbroken, which is good. Full squad is a seven plus one eight or less. Six. So he is no longer unbroken. That's actually some good signs for that. And then three. It was a five minus one. Hey, they're all they all they all rallied. So Germans had a good <coughs> rally segment. And that is that, uh, because everybody <coughs> as I believe everybody else here is yep. Everybody is fine here. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so, and that, by the way, that shows me that this dice die can roll low as well with that. Okay, so we are on to turn six now. And uh, this will probably, we'll see what happens. Um, this may be the last die roll uh, for the game, is if the Germans can't get anybody on, then there's no use in continuing this because there's nothing that's going to bring those guys back. So. Let's go ahead and roll it. Five. They finally get one. They finally get the um, uh, reinforcements on. It may be a little too late. So what I can do They either enter on F22, which is down here, this isn't going to help, or they can get on B17, which is right up here. B17 is right here. Now, I have a choice of some squads here. which I think we will bring the squads on. Um, so we have four squads and two light machine guns. I really feel like these guys are the way to go. And a officer. So. Yep, you can see him. Oh, I'm short a light machine gun. It looks like I'm supposed to have two LMGs. I'm short a light machine gun. It's okay. I'll grab one real quick here. Uh, what is it? A MG34. Let me grab one of those and I'll be right back. So here are my reinforcements. They are going to come in on here. And I think... Yeah, so we're going to... Yeah, so they're going to come in on here. So we have our... I think I'm going to kind of split these up with two full squads. Well, that gives what? So it's a 7-7 seven, seven and a 5. A 7-6 seven, and a 5. So that'd be 18. So yeah, that really doesn't... 
Yeah, I think we're going to do that because that will put it as a 14. Yep, I think that is. A, sorry about hitting the camera there, guys. And then one with a leader. Giving them some extra movement points. And then we'll go from there. Okay, cool. So now let's go ahead. So they come in on V17. I'm going to put that on V18. So they're going to be coming on this turn. So maybe it's not all lost for the Germans. We finally got some squads in here. So let's go ahead. Uh, see who goes first. Uh, it will be the Germans that go first, which is what they're looking for. So what we're going to do is we are going to run. And we're going to go ahead and run <clears throat> all the way up here. And it's usually seven, but because we have an officer here, it'll be eight movement points. Now, right now, since we're on a new turn, these guys are going to have an opportunity to possibly fire. He's thinking to wait till he gets around here. Because, uh, yeah, I think so. We'll see how it goes. Oh, here we go. We're going to run. So it's going to be one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> and you know what? He's like, I'm just going to stop right here. <clears throat> and with that, these guys are actually going to go ahead and. Oh, this guy just gets flipped. I don't know why he has a casualty marker on him. <laughs> uh, Okay, so these guys are going to come from here, and they are going to be winded. So they can't run next turn, which is, that's not a big deal. Um, but I do want to put a winded marker on here. Just because that's what you do. Okay, winded. Now, we'll see what happens here. So we have, so that's a 7, 14. Well, that just takes it off. 7, 14, 19. Now, that just drops it below. 19 plus 1, though. Or minus 1 plus 1 because of that. But they are running, so it's also a minus 2. So it's a it's on the 14 plus 2 for opportunity fire. Five Or minus 2. <laughs> 5, 14. On the 14, 5 minus 2 is a 3. So 3 on the 14 is a C3. Um, so that will be actually a 6 or collateral fire. 6 collateral fire. But we got to get rid of, we got to take 3 steps. So... So I think what we'll do... So we're going to flip the kernel over. That'll be one. And then we will take a casualty on each of the squads. Okay. So the leader so starts out at seven, minus three, but plus two. So six or less and he's okay six or less and he's okay and we got three so the leaders the officers okay so that's gonna be plus two so basically these other guys um, um, well let's take it out so it's a c3 so that's a four down to a three five six seven and got a seven same thing that's a 10 and a 6. So we did have, uh, so this squad right here, which was unfortunately holding the LMG, is not only casualty, it is broken as well. 
it's broken. Now these guys have fired here. We'll put a fired marker on them. And then this is the six residual right there. So now it is the Americans turn again. And I think they're gonna go ahead, Sergeant Quinn here is gonna fire on these guys here. So they're not this, by the way, this uh, uh, this bazooka here is not being carried. It was being carried by that um, by that half squad or reduced squad, however you want to call it, whatever. It doesn't bother me. Um, and so that's an 8, 15. So we're going on the 20 again. Um, plus 1, minus 1. Yep. Plus 1, minus 1. Uh, one more thing fired. Plus one, minus one. So it's a straight on the 20. And it's got a seven. On the 20 is a C1. In this case, that's just going to get rid of this half squad here. C1, so that's five, but plus one. Uh, so that one's fine. I used the wrong die, but that's okay. And they're both okay. Just barely. Um, but that did put a 10 collateral fire in here. Oh, got it right here. Got a 10 collateral fire in here. And so now it's back to the German turn. And he's going to go ahead and shoot back. Why not? Right? Why not? Uh, so that's going to be on the 10 plus 1 minus 1. On the 10 plus 1 minus 1. And we will mark him fired. Plus 1 minus 1. On the 10. A straight shot on the 10 is a 10, so that's nothing. Uh, he's going to uh, go fire rate. So that'll be on the 4, straight on the 4. A 4 on the 4 is a C1. So we're just going to flip uh, Sergeant Quinn over. He's going to take the hit. So that'll be C1. So 5. Yeah, so 7 or less. Got a 7. Whew. And then the other two just don't roll a 10. 7, good. And a 6, good. So no breakage. These uh, paratroopers are extremely hard to fire. And so that was the second rate. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to fire rate on this guy. Uh, 4 again, straight on the roll. Ooh, that's a one on the four is a C2. So we're going to have to. I think what we'll do is we're going to flip. Yeah, we're going to flip this squad right here. Okay. So C2, so that drops this four. The six is down to a four. Uh, plus one, five or less. Eh, I got a six. So he will be broken. Um, the full squad, uh, seven or less, three, and then the half squad, six or less, eight. So it is broken as well. So that was actually kind of an effective shot here. Because that took out the capability of firing rate on that machine gun. 
So that was really good. So now back to the Americans. They're going to pass right now. Um, yep, they're going to pass. Oh, this was, this would be a, this will be a four residual into that hex. Or collateral. So, uh, Germans, we've got the other group up here. So that's going to go, we're going, they're also going to run one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's where they're going to stay. They can go seven, but I believe that's where they're going to stay. So they are also winded as well. And nobody can see them. Nope. Okay. These Americans are going to pass. They want to stay there. They really want to make sure because that's that's the victory hex. So they're not going to move. Uh, but uh, let's hold on. I think this guy has an LMG. Yeah. So he has an LMG. Uh, it's going to be on the four, up one, minus one. Up one, minus one, up one, minus one. Nine, nothing. Okay. So he has gone through. The Germans are done as well. And so we are going to go to um, assault movement or close assault. So residual fires will go away. Or nah, collateral fire. <laughs> I'll get I'll get the term straight. Um, you listen to too many ASLers, you're going to start picking up their terminology too. Okay, so let's see who is going to go first. Uh, the Americans are actually going to go first, and what they're going to do is they're going to take this guy and they're going to move him into the cabbage patch. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, this one, these guys firing on this one. I forgot to include the, oh man, I forgot to include the orchard. Oh, well, that's, that's okay. So these guys are, yeah, they're just going to stay there. These guys are going to move up a hex. Yeah, they can get up there. They can too, but they need their leader. But let's go ahead and we're going to move that squad up there. Okay, and then everybody else is going to pass. And it is rally time. So in this case, we have quite a bit of rally. So we'll just start with the Americans. It really doesn't matter if this happens simultaneous. So we have Quinn, which is a six plus one. So seven or less in his rally. It's a nine. Nope. So leader does not. Eight or less. Two. Okay, so the only people that are at. Oh, wait. He can't. That's right. Because Sergeant Quinn didn't. He can't rally. That's right. Because the leader has to be in good order. That's why I kept this leader here, which Hager here is. So that'll be a plus two. So basically don't roll don't roll a zero. Roll to one. Uh, because underneath this guy is the LMG. So the broken goes away. Casualty does stay though. Okay, so with that, that is actually the end of turn. Yeah, that's actually the end of turn six. We got one more turn. Oh, it got all funky focused on that. 
So that's the end of the turn. And that'll be that. So with that, uh, we'll be on to turn seven and we'll see what happens. It's not looking good for the Germans. They do need to basically, um, <laughs> we're going to have to close combat into this thing and try to, they're going to have to try to eliminate these two guys, these two stacks, which is not unheard of. It's just, can they get moving here and avoid the opportunity fire and not get broken? They can take casualties. They just can't be broken. So with that, I'll talk to everybody later. Bye.